Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The Las Vegas community gathered Sunday to remember loved ones lost six years ago in the October 1 shooting. The early morning ceremony was held at the Clark County Government Center Amphitheater, where survivors of relatives spoke about leaning on one another for support over the last few years. And we, as a community, learned how important it was to lean on each other, friends and strangers, to begin the healing process and to become Vegas strong. Locals are looking forward to the completion of the Forever One Memorial, which was approved by Clark County Commission last month. It will be built on a two acre lot close to the shooting site. And a name reading ceremony was held Sunday night at the Las Vegas Community Healing Garden to honor the October 1 shooting victims. The ceremony began at 10.05 p.m. the time the shooting occurred. Mayor Carolyn Goodman and the city communications director read the names of each victim who lost their life that night and a bell rang after each name. 58 people died from the shooting and two more victims later succumbed to their injuries. And one woman survived a gunshot wound from an October 1 mass shooting. Giovanna Calzadiez returned to University Medical Center Friday where she began her miraculous recovery to share her story. The bullet entered three areas of her brain resulting in many brain surgeries and more than two months in a coma. Doctors believe she would not survive her injuries. Uh, she might stay like that for the rest of her life. It was hard because we didn't know what the outcome was going to be, and that's what we struggled with the most, and that was the, the wear down of our, of our family. And two people died in a fiery single vehicle crash Saturday night near Charleston Boulevard and West Wind Road when the driver tried to pass another vehicle, lost control, and veered off the road. The driver was an 18-year-old woman, and the passenger was a 60-year-old man. Their identities have not been identified. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing, repair work on the storm-damaged roads on Mount Charleston is expected to be completed early October, but there's still no timeline for reopening. The roads are still closed to the general public over five weeks since Tropical Storm Hillary battered the area. A news conference this week may shed some light on the possible completion timeline. Well, sunny and calm winds are in your forecast for today. Today's highs reaching around 77 degrees. Tonight, mostly clear skies, lows around 58 degrees. For the rest of the week, sunny and mostly clear skies. Daytime highs staying in the low to upper 80s as the weekend approaches. Calm winds today through midweek. Mostly clear skies for your evenings with lows ranging in the low to mid 60s. And entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. The Sphere debuted its one-of-a-kind venue this weekend, plus more Las Vegas entertainment news from RJ's John Katzlamides. This weekend in Vegasville was all about the Sphere. U2 UV Octung Baby opened on Friday night, and we were there. A breathtaking technological experience, musically amazing. We can't wait to see Postcard from Earth, which opens on Friday night. Also, we toured Zoo Station, the fan attraction at the Venetian, which is also a very impressive uh, recounting of the band's history. Wasn't all you two, though. We saw Morris Day in the time, along with Billy Gibbons at the Strat for the Purple Party. And yes, we were on stage dancing the bird, and I am not kidding. It was quite a quite a weekend in Las Vegas. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders lost their third straight here at SoFi Stadium to the Chargers. The final score 24 to 17. Los Angeles was led defensively by Khalil Mack's six sacks, a franchise record in a single game. Rookie quarterback Aiden O'Connell could not secure the win, throwing an interception in the team's final possession. A lot of this stuff is on us. A lot of this stuff, you know, we do to ourselves, man. And, and we still in the games at the end. If we just do stuff right from start to finish, I mean, who knows where the game would have been. 
In health news sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Next to skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer in women in the U.S. One in eight women will develop breast cancer at some point in their lifetime, according to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Some people are in greater risk than others, but it's still important for all women to know the signs of breast cancer. For the full list of signs, log on to lvrj.com forward slash live well. And scientists at Oregon Health and Science University have made a development that could lead to a greater understanding of Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. They discovered a new cause for the diseases that affect cognitive functioning. For more on this discovery, log on to lvrj.com. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. NFL Week 4 ends Monday night with the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New York Giants at MetLife Stadium. The Seahawks are one and a half point favorites at Station Casinos and minus 130 on the money line. The Giants are plus 110 on the money line. And the total is 47. At Station Casinos, you can also bet on the score at halftime with the total set at 23. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, is this the candy store for gamblers? A local Las Vegas business has 7 million gaming chips. 20 years later, Spinetti's Gaming Supplies is still good for new and vintage poker chips and retired poker and blackjack decks at their warehouse and store at 810 South Commerce Street in downtown. Its inventory includes about 7 million chips, 300,000 decks of cards, and 20,000 pairs of craps dice. And visitation to Southern Nevada grew again in August due to double-digit gains in convention attendance. The LVCVA reported 3.3 million visitors in August, a 4% increase from last year. Convention attendance grew 64.3%. For hotel occupancy numbers, visit lvrj.com forward slash business. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.